Oh, hey guys, it's Armageddon X430. Just today, my final part came in. Well, not really my final part. I still have one that's coming in, but uh, I have half of it. That would be this. These guys, right here. Oops, this one sits down. Let's see if we can see that a little bit. It's the XMS Corsair uh, 2000 megahertz memory. This is, uh, each one of these is four dims. Uh, Four gigs, two DIMMs, so it's, this is total eight. I got two more of these coming, but I can set up the computer with just these two for now. Um, I'm wanting to show you all the parts since I finally, finally got everything. Good lord, I thought it was going to take like three weeks or something like that, but this has been taking, taking a long time. This is my uh, motherboard. This is like I was. I think it's the second most powerful motherboard on the market today. Well, the first one only being better because it has the ability to have four video cards and has more RAID options, which aren't really things that I'm going to use. So this is what the video for the <laughs> motherboard looks like. Careful not to let it fall out. This, so let me just kind of quickly go over some of these things. Here's the capacitor, the battery right here. Uh, this is, I, I, I'm not sure, but I think this is the bus. Ah, okay. ah, I'm a little bit sexy here. Uh, this is the bus right here. This is where the CPU chip would go. It's got the little lever right here. I, I have no idea what the quality is. I, I'm kind of a far away from my uh, monitor right now. Uh, this is where all the uh, memory dims are going to go. Uh, these are the two slots for the video cards right here and here. Uh, this is the, right. Yeah, these are for the video card. Uh, I don't remember. These are like the old PCI, I think, spots. These are for like uh, little uh, specialized cards, I think. Uh, this one, I think, is the uh, MBU, which is the motherboard unit. Um, there is actually the thing is, what's interesting about this one is it actually has two MBUs. One of them is a, a like an A MBU, and the, this one right here in this little spot, this little spot right here is the uh, D MBU or something like that. Uh, it's really advanced. It's got a lot of technology. This is where all of your ah, my goodness, I'm dyslexic. This is where all of your uh, uh, SATA would connect to. This is SATA 6.0, uh, which my uh, solid state drive is actually SATA 6.0. This oh, I don't think I can show you this one too easily. Let's see here, right where my pinky is pointing, right. Oh, right there. I don't know if you can see that. That one right there, that is the 24-pin connector where your power supply would connect to. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of little small ones that connect to, like, your uh, your case lights and your fans and et cetera, et cetera. And there's also uh, even, a, I think, that is for the old uh, Ultra Atta or for the floppy drives or whatnot. I don't I'm not really sure, but... Oh, and then finally, the last thing, though, Notice on the motherboard. Ah, be careful. Don't want to drop it. <laughs> Is of course the uh, interface and all the ports that you would connect to. So 7.1, or actually it might be 9.1, I'm not sure. It's even got PS2 plugins, which, good lord, we don't use those anymore. We got a bunch, a couple different kinds of USB. We got our uh, network right here. Um, I think there's one. What is that? I forget what that's called. There's one of those things. <laughs> Aren't I helpful? A bunch of USB. And so that's all that. This this has its own little uh, plate that you would put install in front of it, which is this thing right here. So that would go right on top of that thing uh, on the case over here. So that's the motherboard. That is the uh, most important part of a computer. There's the, uh, the backbone, as a lot of people would say. And then here is... For its size, the most powerful part. This has six cores. Was it 3.2 or 3.4 gigahertz? Uh, I don't remember. It's one of those. It's the uh, 1090T. This little baby is packed with power. Packed with power. It's also got a little sticker right here. It keeps trying to fall out. And that will be cooled by this bad boy. This is the stock one. Uh, yeah, surprising with all this stuff, I'm actually going to use the stock fan, but um, uh, that's what uh, programs are to determine what parts of your computer are warm or not warm. And then uh, I might upgrade the fan later. I don't think I'm going to need to upgrade the uh, video card uh, fans. You've already seen it, but I'll pull it out again. 
Got it. Careful. And a bunch of people commented on the fact that I keep touching this part of the thing. There's a blue sleeve right here. Can you see that's blue right here? It's holding it. It's keeping me from actually putting my thumb on the pins. Yes, I, I'm not a complete noob. I know you're not supposed to touch these pins, but there's a plastic cover. So this is the... Uh, there you go. God, I'm terrible at this. Uh, this is the 470. Uh, I'm also going to try and get better lighting for this place. So this is the uh, Twin Frozer 2. Uh, MSI. Okay, I'm gonna put this down somewhere safe. Um, so yeah, I already showed you the memory. Uh, let, let's go to the hard drives next. This is one of the store drives. You should be able to read. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if you can read that. Uh, it is the two terabyte Western Digital uh, SATA. Where? Blah, 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 blah. So oh yeah, Caviar Black down here, which is actually I guess. Western Digitals are doing better than they used to because I would used to never be willing. Now, this one is a heavy hard drive, and it's uh, fairly powerful. But what's amazing is this hard drive right here is incredibly light. I mean, it, it's like barely anything to it. And yet this one is way faster. I mean, levels faster than that one. This is what's going to have my boot, uh, boot on it. It's 64 gigs. It's only going to have a Windows 7 on it, a um, couple other files, and then possibly also a uh, Google Chrome operating system if, I, if they have a nice stable release for it or something like that. Um, and it's just got a little... Oh, 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 we can't see that. It's just got the little plugins. This side's for power. Wait, I got that backwards. Or do I? No, wait. This side is for data. This side is for power. The power is the longer one. Make sure not to lead you guys astray. Oh, and for this thing, I have this thing, which actually holds two. Uh, it's actually plastic. I wish it was like aluminum or something like that, but you just like slide a... Uh, whoops. Yeah, that's right. You just slide this right in there somehow. I'm not going to figure it out right now, but you just click, and you can put two in the same size as one of these. It's a good way to interface it. Let me protect it by putting this back in here. Also, before you touch uh, too many computer parts, it's always a good idea to touch uh, like, uh, metal. Of, like, for example, my computer right over here. Touch the metal of it. or Just make sure that you have something that's ESD touch plate. In other words, get rid of all the static electricity you've got on you. Try not to drag your feet too much and stuff like that. You don't want to destroy anything. Uh, next, we've got a new one of these. This one's a uh, your standard uh, DVD burner. I was thinking about getting a Blu-ray burner, but I use burning so rarely. It's just not worth it. I mean, even if it's only a couple bucks. And also, prices go down so quickly that it'll probably be like 30, 40 bucks for a Blu-ray by the time I ever need it. Um, what else? What else? 